Welcome to Pearl River Public Library at Home. This is another local history talk. I'm going to give you a brief history of the Pearl River Public Library. I'm Jim Cassetta, local history librarian. In 1894, when the Unique Club was built opposite the Kentucky Fried Chicken on Pearl Street and uh, Jefferson Avenue, they uh, formed a Unique Club reading room. This was the nucleus of the public library. This went on for about uh, 20 years, and they would read uh, important novels of the day. There, was, uh, there were no um, books per se there, but you could purchase your own. So obviously, it was not a public library, but an organization library. After the 20 years it served there, public library was started uh, under the Hadler building on Central Avenue. Uh, there is a small little store if you step down. There, it's still there. I don't know if it's occupied at this time. But that, uh, for about 10 years or so, uh, was the public library, or a library uh, as we know it. Uh, how it was organized and who paid for it, I'm not sure, probably through membership. Now, in uh, the 1870s through the early 1900s, there was a library on Middletown Road. Some think it was near the uh, Zimmy Bagel Shop in the church, which was also used as an early, a very early school. So it was catch as catch can is where you could uh, acquire books or if you had the means to purchase books and read them and discuss them with other uh, people in the community. A man named Fred Losher got together with uh, another, uh, the uh, head of the um, American Legion in 1934. 1933 was the depths of the Depression. Is people needed entertainment. For 10 cents you could go to the movies, but there was more leisure time that needed to be filled. So what they did was they organized an organization. And to run this organization they would need a spot and they would need 1,000 subscription memberships from the people in the community costing one dollar a year, which was very inexpensive even in those days. Uh, this library started in 1934-35, which, uh, according to scholars throughout the United States, uh, this was when people started to do this kind of thing. It was a popular idea. So what had happened was they got together and they got their 1,000 individuals, which, with Fred Losher as the uh, first um, sub first charter member. The first 500 members of the thousand became charter members. So people were very excited to get involved in this. They needed a place to go. So the building that was the first National Bank of Pearl River that became Marine Midland, uh, they offered them two rooms in the offices above the bank and they uh, accepted it and that's where the library was uh, until at some point in the late 1930s, the Pearl River School District offered uh, a first floor uh, room as the new library, and that's where people would go. The librarian was uh, Mrs. Perry Park. Um, she organized the library. She did not have a library degree. She was just a teacher. She had a degree from the state normal school at Oneonta, SUNY today. And um, this is how the library went on until the bridge went in. Once the Tappansee Bridge came in, people started to come up from the city who were used to the New York, pu New York Public Library system. And uh, they demanded more. So in 1962, um, an organization was uh, formed and a library was voted into existence. And it was on Ridge Street. It was a little two-room uh, building that had been the uh, back of a bowling alley, nine-pin bowling before the automatic pin setter. 
So uh, that was there until um, 1964 when they finally opened the building on Franklin Avenue, which uh, today the school district owns the land, but the building is uh, that of the library. In 1982, it, there were already plans to expand the library. In 1992, a completed library was built, which basically encompassed all around the original 1963 building. And today, we have uh, a great library. Pearl River has a wonderful library, lots of offerings, great staff, and um, after this time of uh, COVID flu, we hope to see you all there. And um, I miss your patronage. Uh, I miss talking to everybody. Stay safe, stay well. And remember, this town has a long history of library service, and we thank you. Take care.